Hey everyone, today I'll be teaching you how to recreate a simple flawless makeup routine you can wear practically everywhere. All of the products I'm using today you can buy at your local drugstore, even Meyer, Target, Walmart, I'm sure they all carry these products. You'll need to start out moisturizing your face and neck to ensure your foundation doesn't leave any dry spots and your skin is hydrated. Your skin, how it glows, how it looks, is the main component of this because there's really not much eye makeup or lips or anything else. So healthy, glowing skin is really key to this look. I like to start out using a BB cream before I put on any concealer or foundation, but you can really choose whichever one you like. I know there's CC creams now. There's all types of different ones that pretty much do the same thing. It's a sunblock, uh, tinted moisturizer, conceals dark spots, etc, etc. It's really good base for your skin, so I recommend using that beforehand. It's like a lifesaver. <laughs> You can use your hands, of course. I prefer using a wedged contour sponge for a smoother coverage. It really gets in your pores and makes it more flawless looking, in my opinion. But if you don't have one, don't worry. You can use your hands and you'll look great anyway. When I'm doing my concealer under my eyes, I like to get like a really good base of it. Almost very like white looking under the eye because I think that I have pretty dark under eye circles, personally. When it comes to foundation, I use two different types, uh, Maybelline Dream Liquid Mousse and the Maybelline Fit Me. Keep in mind to always be very gentle when you're putting any type of makeup, concealer, foundation, anything under your eyes because one, you don't want to get any makeup in your eyes, especially if you're like me and wear contacts because it's very irritating. <laughs> um, also, it's just very sensitive, the skin under your eyes more so than any part of your face. So you don't want to damage that, get crow's feet early on, none of that. So when you're applying any type of concealer or foundation, remember to be very gentle and don't just, you know, go crazy with it and dig it in because it's not going to look good and it won't help your skin in the long run. So just be very gentle with that area. Once I'm finished putting the concealer under my eyes, I like to put a little bit on the bridge of my nose to create a more slim contoured effect, as well as putting some on any problem areas that I'm having at the time. Okay, so this is one of the most important steps of this whole tutorial. It's how you apply the foundation. You can either cake it on your hands and rub it all over your face and look crazy, or you can use a contoured sponge that really helps you get into all the crevices, lines, everything that is on your face to really give you that defined, smooth look that you're looking for. When I'm applying my foundation, I like to use downward strokes with the sponge. This really fills in the pores and creates a smooth finish. All you need is a little bit of foundation and it will go a long way, trust me. Especially if you're using Fit Me, which is a very heavy liquid. You do not need a lot at all. Just a little dab on your sponge and you're great. As far as using two foundations, I know a lot of people are opposed to it, but I like to mix the colors directly on my face so I can see what I'm getting and how it's going to come out. A lot of people do the swatch test on their hand, but my hand and my face are two completely different colors. My whole body is a bunch of different colors, you know? Tanning, being in the sun, being mixed, it all adds up. So I don't know what color relates to my hand and my face, but I know if I put it on my face and it looks good, that's all I need to know. I have oily skin, so for me, I prefer a matte look and not a dewy look. I like to put powder on after I've put on my foundation and not just leave it. I personally prefer using a powder blush because of the oiliness of my skin. It doesn't let it get too shiny or dewy, which I'm not looking for. 
But if you want a more shiny look, there are tons of different products out there to accomplish that with your blush. There are a lot of really inexpensive cream blushes on the market now, but I just prefer to use the powder. I think it looks a little bit more flawless with the look. I like to apply the blush only to the apples of my cheek, so you're going to have to do a kind of weird by yourself smile and look all strange, but it'll be worth it. Don't really brush it too far up into your hairline and temple because that kind of gives a more drag queen look, which we're not really going for today. So just keep it to the apples and when you smile, it'll look like you have a refreshed glow. This step is pretty optional, but I like to put bronzer on as well. You gotta make that like Zoolander suck in your cheeks face, but um, yeah, it just gives you a good contoured look, and I don't know, I like to do it. You don't have to do it, but if you'd like to, here I am doing it. <laughs> Mascara is pretty self-explanatory, but I really like this product because of the upper and lower lash breath. You can see that it really has a difference on just one eye already, and it really makes it pop and look fuller and bigger. When doing a natural makeup look, it's key to not use a heavy or dark lip. That's why I use my favorite product, Baby Lips. It feels really good and smooth and also has a tint of color, so it's perfect. And that's it, a natural, flawless, easy to do makeup look that you can wear anywhere, anytime. It doesn't mask your beauty, just enhances it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you want more, just submit any questions to rtavanese at gmail.com. I'll answer all your questions and hopefully get some video submissions so I can make some more looks for you guys. Mwah!